What's up guys? You are now in the algebra class for C programming because we're going to be going over the math operators for the C programming language which is pretty much standard for every other language out there. So you've got your addition, subtraction, mul or no, division and multiplication. Those specific signs there. Now I want to take you through a few examples with those and then explain um, precedence which you guys probably learned in algebra but just to clarify if you guys don't understand in that degree. So what we're going to do is set up a few variables. We're going to have uh, a, which is equal to, we'll say 15. We'll have a variable b, which is equal to 10. And we'll have an integer c, which is equal to 5. Also, let's have a result variable that will pass those through. Now in doing so, we've got our four variables set up. Now what we're going to do is just write a few statements, like result is going to be equal to a plus b and let's print that to the screen which we'll use uh, a string a plus well, plus b is equivalent to and then let's pass in that result data there and the argument that we'll use is the result that we just set up right there so basically we're looking at 15 plus 10 should equal 25 as we pass out the result there so let's take that example, let's duplicate that, and let's do something like A divided by C. We'll change our formula here so we can see what we're doing. A divided by C, which should equal our result. That should be good as well. Go ahead and copy this. Let's do one more example just so you guys can have a full understanding of these. And let's do A plus b times c and we'll fill in the formula here plus b times c equals our results so guys go ahead and run that and we should get our results down here now as you can see we've got a plus b so if you go back to our integer up here we've got 15 plus 10 which equals 25 perfect easy peasy the next one we go to, we've got A divided by C, so we've got 15 divided by 5, which gives us 3. Again, easy peasy. So we've in our, in our third result here, we've got A plus B, so we've got 15 plus 10, so we've got 25 times C, which is 5, and we should get 125, but we got 65. Now that's where the C language uses precedence in similar to like the algebra formula where your multiplication and division have a precedent precedence over your addition subtraction and all that stuff there so the equation actually reads b times c which is going to be 50 plus 15 equals 65 so it is returning the right result i was just reading it so you guys could have a full understanding of where it goes now we could change this we could uh put some parentheses around a plus b similar to what we could do in algebra and we'll just reflect that on the screen as well go ahead and run that and we should get the 125 as if we were to do it that way so that's kind of a quick basis to your math operators as you guys are using those four addition subtraction division and multiplication and uh, a quick explanation of precedence as you guys use those in your formulas so we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial later